great comment uh, by Muhammad Raza here on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the mirror to show the the real reality of what it is. Beautiful comment, though. Experience is simply the name we give our mistakes. No, that's that's a nice way to put it, but mistakes is simply the name we give our experience. So neutralize it. You see, if you if you're living in a negative reality, don't expect positive things to happen. You see, and we've been so conditioned into a negative reality to that's that's actually a very nice statement. Experience is simply the name we give our mistakes. In the literal world, um, that's quite acceptable. In the spiritual world, it's quite the mirror. No, no, no. Mistakes are the name we simply give our experience. So just accept them as experience. They're not mistakes. No such thing. There's only contrast. Our ability to see that contrast, well, that's the difference between a victim and a victor. A victim cannot see the contrast and prefers to hang out in the wallowing uh, pity, uh, trying to ego imprint others around them to make them feel better so they can get rid of their shit by casting their spells and garbage onto another. Uh, That's called the savior program. Uh, If you want to play that game, that's great, but you will end up carrying around the weight of the world and a lot of shit garbage on your camel that someone else is packing on it for you. Um, I just shake my back and none of that shit sticks and none of it. My my camel's clean. I got my own luggage to get rid of and that's all I've been doing. And uh, I think, uh, I mean, over the last week, the the meditative... uh, um, states that I've been able to get into. Uh typically <coughs> excuse me, you know, waking up in the morning kind of thing. Um I'll just kinda wake up, yeah, do my thing, whatever, grab coffee or whatever, and then simply come back and zone right back out and get into the mid state. And it's instant. And um I really haven't got any words to describe this, but I'll share it this way. The simplicities that are unveiling during these beautiful, peaceful moments of sitting between the worlds, like, that's, you're all capable of it. (laughs) You know, it's that twilight between waking and sleeping. And uh, I've been rather fortunate, I guess, uh, being able to stay there and be fully aware of staying there. And then, of course, uh, seeing the simplicities of the things that are going on uh, and neutralizing them. Uh, I go chasing singularities. I look for it. Uh, that was a singularity. Example, experience is simply the name we give our mistakes. Mistakes are simply the name uh, names we give our experiences. Right? So it's, it's, a, it's a mirror of itself. It's um, two entirely different intentions when you think about it. So what I'm looking for is the equal and the opposite to neutralize it. <clears throat> so we can get a better look at it. So we're not looking at things from a polarized one-side perspective. That's what victims do. That's a victim mind that stays stuck in one idea, will not leave it, because to do so would be venturing into dangerous, unknown waters that they're not sure that their ego can handle, so they might look stupid. That's the problem with the ego. It uh, thrives on intellect, and it also uh, instills fear for those that may not have the wherewithal intellectually just yet due to blockages and whatever the case may be and programs that have been running. We're all brilliantly intellectual, by the way. I should mention that. You're all knowing. How couldn't you be? Just saying, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, the victim or victor, what do you want to be? Well, let's just break it down phonetically. I've done this before, but I think this is a this is a good chance to revisit it. Now, Phoenician, and I don't talk much about it. Phoenician is is simply uh, sounding the words out differently than you've been programmed to pronounce them. So you see different hidden things within them. You know, things like um, an I that you would normally pronounce I can also be pronounced I, and a C that is sounding ka can also be pronounced s, right? It's very simple. So I'll show you. You can write this out if you want. Write out victim and victor. Separate the vic and the tim and the vic and the tor. Right? So you're going to see phonics here. If you make the i hard, it sounds like an i. Make the, the c soft, it sounds like an s. Now you have vice. 
You can pronounce it vice. You don't need an E to make an I hard. It's it's what it is in the alphabet naturally. Same thing with T I M. T T I I M M. So time, vice time. And of course, vice tor, which is Taurus field, toroidal creation. Bull. You might have heard of papal bulls and shit. Okay. So it's time to create some of your own bulls, some of your own from source bulls. So that's the, you, there's the proof of the word. Those that are a victim are caught in a moment of time, either in past or future. They're either worrying about something that doesn't exist yet, or they're stuck in a moment that has them uh, seeking vengeance, or uh, they're in a state of fear, have been beaten down, and are kind of stuck in a Stockholm syndrome sort of thing. So that's someone that's that, and we've all been through this. We've all been victims, caught in moments in time. Some still are. Some are really pulling themselves out of it. And that's one of the main things that I do to pull out these moments that might have some charge on them so that there's no more grip on me. There's no more heartstring or an emotional tie to it. So I remove that. So there's no more potential of me imprinting somebody else with that bullshit. I take care of my own camel. All right? So I keep it neutral. Someone that's caught in a past moment or caught in a future worry. They're not in the now. There's no way you can create outside of the now. That's a fact. And this game is designed very simply to keep you outside of the now, keep you caught up in a victim moment, you know, oh, well, you know, we have the, the victim support groups and, you know, this and that. Yeah, of course, got to keep that fucking victim alive, you know? That's, that keeps you in a state of fear, keeps you in a state of control under the guise of somebody trying to help you. Now, the best thing you can do to a victim is give them a fucking slap in the mouth and tell them to grow up. Get in the now. Oh, that's a little harsh, Kate. Really? So you'd rather them walk around and poison the rest of the fucking planet? I think that's a little harsh. Far more harsh than, you know, smarten up. I had to do it for myself, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let someone else try to ego imprint me, and you'll get a bitch slap right upside the noggin. Right quick. Stand up, you're a grown-up. Be an adult. Okay, so that gets you out of these moments of uh, past garbage that don't exist anymore. They only exist because people bring them back into the reality like they're fucking real. That they've got some badgering point that, that they never saw their contrast. See the contrast, the victory of what you were supposed to pull out of it to make you stronger instead of, instead of you thinking it's made you weaker. Are you here? Did you not surpass it and overcome it? Take the win. Same thing with somebody that's scripting. Well, what if this and that, that's scripting? It's delusional. You're writing a script based on somebody else's premise, somebody else's reality. Throw something in, a, uh, in the mail, uh, open it up in your mailbox, and you've got a fucking ready-made script for you. And as per social programming, what happens? Oh, you play the script out perfectly because you were indoctrinated to do so. Break that spell. It's all bullshit. I don't take anybody's scripts. I don't take unsolicited scripts. Not my game. At all. All right, so there's your future uh, scripter and past, uh, you know, um, ego imprinter. And they all have their own form of ego imprinting on others. Get a grip on your on your reality. Instead of having a, being, being caught in a moment of time, either past or future, vice of time, victim, move into the status of victor, vice of Taurus. Get a grip on your own reality, your own creation field, and a victor only exists in the now. A victim lives in the past or illusional future. Both are illusions. So what do you want to, where do you want to live? Do you want to live in somebody else's idea of reality as it was created for you to impinge on you and to keep you impinged by fearing something that doesn't exist as a victim? Or say you've had enough. Start creating your own Taurus field. Getting a grip on your reality. And that's what it means. This victor means get a grip on yourself. You have nothing to fear. Stand in truth. You have nothing to fear. You were so conditioned as young children to lie. It was okay to lie. You got rewarded for it. It's called Christmas and Easter and shit. That's the program setting in. And then you can look at a child looking at you and they're... They're afraid of telling you the truth because they might get in trouble, so they'll tell you a lie because apparently it's okay. You taught them how to do that. 
I taught my daughters how to lie. I told them Santa Claus was real. I told them the Easter Bunny was real. I told them all sorts of lies. And they got rewarded for it. So who created what? I just don't create that shit anymore. That's a big one. And right now we're coming up into a into a time of year and you're going to see all the fucking robots running around with their got to get their Christmas this and Christmas that. It's nothing about gifts. It's about how good a gift I can get and how good I can look because all it is is a fucking ego pump fest. That's all it is. Take a most sacred concept and turn it into a shopping spree. Yeah, that's smart. No, there won't be any fucking Christmas presents flying around me. I get them every day. They come in the form of you. Who the hell needs one day a year to celebrate? I'll take 360, 365. Depends on where the earth is, you know? (laughs) Do Do you see how you settled for so little? You settle for one birthday, one Christmas, one... Are you kidding me? How about you just take everything and wrap it all up together and put it into an everyday now moment? Wouldn't that be more fun? Sure is. 